here at the Steak and Shake on 280 in Inverness with driver of the Steak and Shake IndyCar, Graham Ray Hall. And uh, we got to start with first things first. We have a milkshake here. It wouldn't be Steak and Shake without a milkshake, right? That's right, yeah. And yeah. this is a special milkshake. Kind of, yeah. So, um, so last year, Steak and Shake came on board and sponsored us, and they asked me, oh, you know, as a kid, what was your, what was your favorite shake? And so I told them, you know, for me, it was always chocolate with M&Ms, which I thought was a fairly basic thing. I guess there weren't too many people that had tried it before, so they all tried it, and then they decided, um, one of our partners, Fight SMA, at, in, in August, they decided that they would make a Graham Ray Hall shake and sell it and give a dollar of each one to, to charity. So. So here we are, kind of this thing's caught on a little bit, and uh, it's pretty simple, but it's, but it's awesome. That was good. You know, Lots okay. of M&Ms. Oh, love the candy. Okay, so let's talk a little racing. Obviously, we're here in Birmingham. This is the course that last year you came to, got a second place finish, yep. and all of a sudden those podium finishes just started rolling in. Yeah, th this race last year is what kind of kick-started a, a really, you know, really great campaign for us in 2015. And so, you know, this year, kind of the start to this year has been a little bit iffy. We just haven't maximized our potential. Um, and really, other than Phoenix, um, which was our second race, we finished fifth, we've kind of slipped this year. So I'm hoping, you know, that this weekend really is what kick-starts our year just like last year. And um, I love coming here. Um, I love razzing all the all the Bama fans, you know, being a Buckeye. I love, you know, the the atmosphere, the family environment, and uh, it's just a beautiful place to, to come race. And uh, so hopefully this year will be a good one for us. Speaking of razzing the fans out here, the Alabama and Auburn fans, I saw that you tweeted something out. That you your your helmet, uh, your headgear, you got signed by Urban Meyer, yep. Ezekiel Elliott. Joey Bosa. Yeah, Michael Thomas. Braxton Miller. Braxton Miller. Uh, Joshua Perry. Von Bell. Like, all pretty much, if they're a Buckeye that's going in the draft this year, which they're saying could be one of the most iconic classes ever, um, they signed it for me. And so, good. So, your future fantasy football team, right? So, yeah, pretty much. And it's like my baby. That thing's never going to leave. It's, I was going to say, so you're not wearing it. That helmet, no, you don't, I don't wear. wear it. No, I, I wore it in Mid Ohio. It did one race, we won. Don't want to scuff those signatures up, That's right? That's it. That's oh. it. No more. You uh, just tied the knot back in November with uh, Courtney Force, who also has a racing career. And so you get to be a husband. You also get to be a fan and a driver. <laughs> How do you manage all this? It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, with Courtney's career, it's difficult. We travel a lot. We're in a lot of different places. She's in Charlotte this weekend while we're here. Uh, next weekend, we go with her to Houston. The weekend after, we're in Indianapolis. So. Honestly, it's uh, it's all over the board, but uh, you know, been a lot of fun, you know, to uh, to manage that. We got married in November, and I'm glad that's behind me because wedding planning last year, I thought I thought planning for a race weekend was tough. Wedding planning is the most difficult thing I've done in my whole life, so I'm glad it's behind us. So now that you're here in Birmingham, planning for the race this weekend, what's the mindset? What's the mentality? And what's the strategy going into this race? To win. I mean, uh, you know, the mindset is we have to win, like I said, you know, to kick off of our year like we did last year here. Um, the strategy is going to be really depend on how we qualify. I mean, I think we started eighth or something last year. I can't remember exactly, but, you know, we got to do something similar again and make our lives uh, a little bit easier on race day. But really uh, outsmart these guys, be fast all weekend, and hope for a good result.